Stampers, the Stun, Dun Stepping Thuts to that. And today we're going to make this peekaboo slider card. I had made um, a version of this card years ago, and it was a double peekaboo. And I have that link right below in the description box. But this one is just using a single two inch circle punch. And when you open it, it's going to slide another little message in this little peekaboo window there. Isn't that cute? And this is using the brand new glimmer paper for the celebration that launched this week. And we're gonna make the sweet sugar plum version of the same card. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here's the glimmer paper. This is the Bermuda Bay that I used on this card. And I used it for the balloons and the window. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. But we're gonna use the sweet sugar plum today. And then there's also the mint macaron, it's just beautiful. All right, so let me tell you the measurements that you're going to use today for your cardstock. We're gonna use the sweet sugar plum. And this is gonna be considered the inside. And this is cut at four and a quarter by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Okay, so then this piece is going to be for the front of the peekaboo slider card. And this is the sweet sugar plum. And this is cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. Piece of whisper white. And this is cut at three by four and a quarter. And that's going to go with the front of the card. And then this piece is going to go to the inside of the card. And this whisper white piece is cut at four and a quarter by five and three quarter. Okay, so first we're going to do some scoring. So let's grab our paper trimmer. Okay, so this is the four and a quarter by five and three quarter inch piece of Whisper White. And on the five and three quarter inch side, we're going to score this at five and a half. So you're just going to have a quarter inch score line right here, just like that. Then we're going to take this other piece of Whisper White. Remember, this piece was cut at three by four and a quarter. So along the three inch side, we're going to score this at two and three quarters. And once again, you're going to get a quarter inch score line right there. Okay, Okay. so now we're going to add some tear and tape along these quarter inch score lines. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and peel the backings off. So now on this piece here, this is the front of the card, and this was cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. Now we're gonna take this piece right here, the Whisper White, and this is the three by four and a quarter. We're gonna take this quarter inch score line with the tear and tape, and we're going to put it along this edge of your Sweet Sugar Plum. Okay, so it should look like this now. Okay, then we're gonna take this piece and remember, this is the four and a quarter by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. It's going to make your card for the inside of the card. And we're going to take this piece right here. And once again, we're going to add this to the end on one side of this piece. Just like that. Okay, so now it should look like this. Okay, so now we're going to grab our two inch circle punch. Okay, so now we're going to grab our front of the card and we're going to flip it over and we're going to close this flap. We're going to take our two inch circle punch and we're just going to slide it all the way in, lining it up between this flap here and the edge. You don't want to cut on this flap here. Okay, so now it should look like that. Okay, then we're going to take this section of the card. This is going to be for the inside and the back piece now. We're going to take this front here. We're going to line this up. And I'm just going to take a pencil. Trace a circle around this inside section. Then we're going to go ahead and punch this out. Line that two inch circle punch up with that circle we just traced. Hopefully that's good. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and fold this, and now we're going to trace another circle onto the other part of this inside part of the card like that. Take the two inch circle punch again and punch that out. Okay, so then your card should line up with all the circles for the front and the inside. So let me show you how this card is going to be put together. So this is the back side, and you're going to fold your card like this, okay? So this is the front. This is going to go behind this four and a quarter by eight and a half piece, remember the card. 
and then that whisper white piece is the back. So it's going to go together like this. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and adhere this front piece to the middle piece here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and fold this flap over and I'm going to put adhesive along this front panel here. Then take your front of the card and I'm going to line up the circles. Okay, so it should look like that. All right, now we're going to close up our card. Now you can see how it's going to be working. So this part is going to be your secret message that slides over in front of this window. All right, now we're going to go ahead and do some stamping. So first we're going to go ahead and take our pencil again and we're going to draw a circle. You're going to want to use a pencil because you're going to want to erase that line. And then you're going to slide over that whisper white piece in the back and you're going to draw another circle on top of that. Okay, so we're going to use the Balloon Adventure stamp set and this is the, it's your birthday, it's going to be stamped on the front and then let's celebrate for the secret panel slide. And then we're also going to be using the balloon pop-up Okay, so we're going to use the Memento ink, and the first greeting, let me close the card. Okay, so the first greeting we're going to stamp is right here. So I'm just going to open up the card, and I'm going to stamp, it's your birthday, here. You want to get it right between that circle that you drew out. Okay, so then you can do a test run making sure it looks right from the front, which it does. Okay, so now this section right here, we're going to stamp, let's celebrate. So we're just going to flip the front over, and we're going to stamp, let's celebrate. Hopefully that's right in the center of that circle. Okay, so then you can do a test run on this. So it's your birthday, and then when it slides over, let's celebrate. So now you're just going to go ahead and erase your pencil lines. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay. So that's pretty much your card. Okay, so then on my finished card, what I did is I opened up the back and I just added a piece of tear and tape right here. Okay, so then just take your tear and tape backing off. And then, okay, so then I'm just going to go ahead and close this part over in the back where I added that tear and tape. Okay, so then just seal up that back part of the card. So then it keeps everything kind of snug together so they won't have like a multiple choice on how to open this card. They'll know to open it up this way. Okay, all right, so now let me go ahead and decorate the front. Let me show you what I did for that. Okay, so for the balloons, what I did is I'm going to take the pop-up balloon thinlets, and I'm going to take this one balloon. I'm just going to make one of the balloons with you to show you what I did. So I'm going to grab the Big Shot. Okay, so we're going to take our Sweet Sugar Plum Glimmer Paper. I'm going to take our balloon. I'm going to punch out the balloon, and then I'm going to take our layering circle framelits, and I'm going to take these two sizes right here. This is going to make your frame for your window section. And I already went ahead and cut up two of those, so I'm gonna show you what I did. So I'm gonna take the flat edge of the circle and then the scallop edge, I'm gonna nestle them together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut those pieces out. Okay, so there's our balloon. So there's our balloon, and then, and then here's our frame for the front of the card. Okay, so then for the balloons, let me show you the balloons again. So I took the balloon bouquet punch, and I wanted this larger balloon. So I punched out two of those. And then I'm just going to take some liquid glue. And I'm just going to layer this over top of the Whisper White balloon. Matches up perfectly. And adhere those together. Then for the front of the card, I'm just going to go ahead and add some glue to that. 
I like using the multi-purpose liquid glue so it gives me some time to manipulate the frame when I'm layering it onto the card making sure it lines up with the circle and then I went ahead already made the balloons and then my strips of paper let me show you those paper this piece is cut at I think it's one inch this is cut at a half inch and then another half inch and that is pen at the ends and I layered them together so then this is going to go on the bottom of my card just like that so let me go ahead and add that and I'm just adding it to the card but I'm going to go off the edge a little bit so I can trim that to fit perfect just like that Okay, then I'm just going to go ahead and add the balloon. Let me get my other balloon. So here are the other two balloons. Let me show you what I did for that. So I'm going to use the thick Whisper White Baker's Twine. And then I also have the Whisper White Baker's Twine and it's a little bit thinner. And what I did for the balloon is I'm just going to go ahead and add some adhesive to the back side. And then I'm just going to cut a piece. Adhere that to the back of the balloon. And then take a dimensional, secure that in place, and that's how I did the balloons. So then here's the other one, and then this one. So I'm just going to use the two for the front of my card today. I'm just going to pop these up. So then what I did is I just took the baker's twine and I kind of gathered it together, but I'm going to take a glue dot. I'm just going to put that right on the base of the card, just like that, and then kind of gather those strings for my balloons. So then I add a little tiny bow. I have one already made right here, and that's using the thick baker's twine in the Whisper White. Once again, I'm going to add another glue dot. And then to stick that bow right on there and take my scissors and I'm just gonna trim the strings a little bit so they're a little bit shorter Isn't that cute okay so I went ahead and already pre-cut two more frames with the sweet sugar plum glimmer paper and I'm gonna go ahead and add these to the inside of the card Okay, so that's what it looks like when you close the card and then when you open it it's another secret message there isn't that cute so there's the sweet sugar plum version and then here's the bermuda bay now wait now i got another card okay so now this one uses my million dollar stamp set which is one wild ride and this is the front and then when you open it it has the motorcycle inside don't you love it so that's just another version of this amazing card. Okay, so all the information on the products used in today's video are listed below and also a quick link to my online store if you want to place an order. So that's how you make that really adorable card. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you later. Bye!